Hello friends, this video trigonometry part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com, no more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched trigonometry part 1. Degree measure. So degree measure is nothing but 1 degree is called 1 by 360th of rotation. So if this is a dot, this is a line, it's AB. So we, if, if we rotate this in positive direction, that is in the anti-clockwise direction, this whole thing is called one rotation. And this is we call 360 degree. One full rotation is equal to 360 degree. So one degree is nothing but one full by what we have done, we have divided both sides by 360. by 360. So this becomes 1 full by 360 and this becomes 1 degree. So 1 degree is nothing but 1 by 360th of rotation. Also, if you convert degree to minutes, so 1 degree is 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. That's the convention you have to remember. Please remember what we have done. So if this is the point about a point we rotate this angle B so this whole thing is called one rotation and we call 360 degree is equal to one rotation this is the convention we use so one degree is equal to one by 60 of rotation and that is what we have written here and one degree is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds this is a normal clock convention we use here. In clock also we have the same thing. 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. In case of degree measure, let's draw some examples. So if we are supposed to form 360 degree, so we are forming this now. Let me write 360 degree here. So we'll take a line AB here. About point A, this is the initial style. About point A, I'll rotate this. So 360 degrees got to full angle. So the line will come again here, same point. This will become B dash. So B and B dash coincide. This is 360 degree. Now if I want to plot 180 degree, this is the line that starts AB. So we'll start from here. 180 degrees is got to 50 percent of the rotation. So this guy, sorry, to be straight here. This is B dash. So this is 180 degree, the straight one, because 180 degree is 50 percent of the rotation. Similarly, let's suppose I want to plot 270 degree. So we'll start with this point AB. 270 is this is 90, this is 180, this is 270. So we'll come something like this. So this angle is 270 degree, and this is B dash. And this is A. Now, if you're supposed to plot 400 degree, so what we will do? We'll start with A, B. This is 90, we know. This is 180. This is 270. This is 360 again, as we have done, and then 40. 360 plus 40 is equal to 400. So it will come somewhere like this. So this will become 40 degree or 400 degree. Both are same. This is 400 degree. If we are supposed to plot minus 30 degree, so we start from here in the negative direction. So this is minus 30. So this was A, this was B, and this became B dash. Similarly, if we are supposed to plot minus 420, we start with AB, we go like this, this is minus 360 is complete, and then minus 60, because we are supposed to go minus 420. So this is minus 420 or minus 60. Both are same. This is B dash. That's how we plot. In the first case, we took AB. We went for a one complete round because one complete round is going to be 360 degree. So we got the same point and that is 360 degree or 0 degree. Here for 180 degree, we went for a half round. We got 180 degree. For 360 degree, we went like this. This is 90. This is 180. This is 270. We got this figure. For 400, we went for one complete round to get 360. 
and then again 40 to get this. So 400 degree or 400 degree are both same. So for minus 30 we went in the clockwise direction 30 degree so we got minus 30 and for minus 420 we went one full uh, clock clockwise circle that gives me 360 plus 60 is equal to 490 degree. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.